Okay, I wanted to uh, make a video about some of these issues I have with the Law of Attraction and how it works sometimes and sometimes doesn't. Uh, first thing I want to say is um, I think that all the so-called experts, all these, you know, the Wayne Dyers and the Abraham Hicks and all these people, I mean, we need to keep in mind these people are selling products. Hype and making something out to be more than it really is is all part of that. So, I think that it's important to have the realization that if you try to attract something into your life through visualization and other techniques and it doesn't, didn't show up, it might not be your fault, first off. And that's the one thing that I think everybody has wrong. Because every time you see these people, and first of all, when you look at Abraham Hicks, you know, she'll have a... Uh, you know, a whole room full of people, and each one of them in turn will get up and tell the, tell her why it's not working for them. Which is interesting that, you know, these are, you know, her most, you know, uh, uh, her, you know her closest followers, you know. You'd think that, gee, you know, she, she appears somewhere to speak, and everyone who shows up talks about how it's not working for them. There might be a bug in your program. Uh, so... As I'm, you know, I'm looking at this, uh, it's it just astounds me uh, that she one by one tells each of them they're doing something wrong, as if it will always work and that you always get what you want. And and quite frankly, my experience has been uh, very different. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I don't have incredible experiences with the law of attraction. Uh, I've written about some of them, but. That girl that I had a date with that was a really incredible moment. That was just spectacular. Uh, so, you know, I one time, um, oh, and it can be immediate too. One time I attracted a case of beer delivered to my door uh, in 20 minutes. I um, would love to tell that story sometime. So I do know that the law of attraction can work. Okay, I do know that the, the that these things are real, but it doesn't work all the time. And the thing that I really, that really annoys me are these false positives. When you get something almost like what you're asking for. For weeks I've been visualizing a check for $50,000. And I've seen it, my name on it, the $50,000. The, the, it was one of those green tinted checks. And I, it appeared in the mailbox. I got it last week, earlier this week. It wasn't a real check. <laughs> it was part of an advertisement to get me to buy some kind of insurance or something, but there it was exactly as I imagined it. And, and you can't say, well, Rob, you didn't... I mean, I've been at this a while. I've been doing this... I've, I've been studying this kind of thing for most of my life. Um, so, you know, I envisioned myself holding it. I, I, I visualized myself cashing it, spending the money, every aspect of it. I pretty much know what I'm doing with this Law of Attraction thing by now. It just sometimes you don't get what you're asking for the way. Now, I'm, I'm working on some models for this. I'm working on some ideas as to why those kinds of things happen. And why, when you don't get what you ask for, what causes that? And some of this is even based on um, uh, Rupert Sheldrick's work on um, uh, morphogenic fields and that kind of thing. So it's, you know, I, and that's the other thing too that I, I want to address. I, I want to, uh, you know, to look at the mechanics of the law of attraction. Everybody wants to talk about method. Well, what are there little invisible gnomes inside your head that jump out and run to the law of attraction store out, you know, this outlet to bring to you? You know, what is the mechanism by which this works? I don't see a lot of people taking that on, and, and I want to. And so, I would like to hear your stories about times that the Law of Attraction worked for you and times that maybe you did the exact same thing, exact same method, but you didn't get what you want. Um, I think that this will be a really interesting to look at. And I think it's time to kind of blow the lid off of all these salespeople who are making the Law of Attraction out to be more than it is. The other thing, too, is, is people say you have to be positive. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, you look at, like, um, Saddam Hussein. Adolf Hitler, they were able to attract a lot of what they wanted within their lives, and they weren't the most positive people. Um, and because, yeah, but you know, karma got them. They had terrible, horrible deaths, and, and, that's, and, and that's what they had coming to them. Well, you know what? So did Gandhi. So did Abraham Lincoln. So 
people want to rationalize uh, this feel-good thing, and what you don't realize is that this is part of the sales act. This is part of the hype, the marketing part of the law of attraction. To sell the CDs, to sell the books, they hype it in a way that gets you feeling inspired and feeling good. And I'm here to tell you, that may not be part of, that may not be a re requirement for the law of attraction to work. The negative things that come into your life that you think about come in, and you don't think positively about those. So I want to get at the meat and potatoes of this law of attraction thing. Um, and for those of you who, th who think that I'm being annoying or who think that I'm being negative, you know what? Um, I think you got to not point the finger at me, but maybe if you believe in the law of attraction, you should ask yourself, what is it you've done to attract me into your life? Um, you know, to attract these ideas. Uh, okay, um, you know, that's the one thing, too, that I also find annoying is when you hear somebody have a terrible thing and they say, well, what do you think you did in your life to attract this? Sometimes things just happen. I don't think that the people in Japan, um, you know, contrary to what Abraham Hicks might say, that they had some kind of, you know, pre-life agreement um, that they were going to all go to this spot where the tsunami was going to hit and this earthquake was going to... No, I, I don't believe that. And I don't, I don't believe that the people in Nagasaki and the people in uh, Hiroshima attracted having an atomic bomb dropped on them either. I think things just happen sometimes. So um, I want to hear your ideas. I want to hear about um, law of attraction, uh, near misses, times you thought you were going to get one thing and something else appeared, why you think that might have happened, what were your thought processes, were they any different from times that it really did work for you. And I think we could probably put together a program where we, and, and I'm looking at this and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about it yet, but I want to put together a series of, of, of videos possibly that details why the law of attraction doesn't always work and if you know what these details are then you can avoid them and increase your amount of success with the law of attraction so uh, that's what I'm proposing um, anyone who has any ideas on that as well uh, but yeah I want to hear your stories I want you to tell you know I'd like to get the discussion going about law of attraction fails and why okay so let's try that out